come back to it. All right, let me get that, uh, let me get that, uh, uh, Matthew 15, 24 again.
book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 3. A people that provokes me to anger. Y'all, people that provoke the most high to anger. Why? Because y'all eat shrimp, crab, and lobster, and y'all break the Sabbath, and y'all don't keep the commandments. Y'all hate the most high God. Read continually to my face. They can break, they do what? Read that again. A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face. Y'all provoke them anger to anger continually to his face, man. Like he's some dang old joke. Read. That sanctifieth in the garden. Y'all sanctify yourself in the garden. All y'all break the Sabbath. Y'all follow the most high God. Right. Y'all some de devil worshipers, man. Y'all don't believe in the Bible. Read. And burneth incense upon altars of bricks. You say what? I said, y'all some devils. Y'all don't follow the most high God. Yes, today the Sabbath day. Ain't no buying and selling, you damn clown. Read. Which which remain upon, among the graves and lounge in the mountain. We're starting to get from the top, huh? A people that provoketh me to anger. Yeah, I cause you a devil because you provoke my God to anger. Read continually to my face. Continually, man. Y'all think he playing? I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bat for my God. Right. I'm a stand up for my God. Right? I'm a speak the words of my God. Right. Young brother, you the children of Israel. God's chosen people. That's right. Read. Continually to my face, and sanctifieth in gardens, and burneth incense upon the altars of bricks. So y'all burn incense on the altars of bricks, man. Right? Y'all do sacrifice to devils. Y'all don't, don't worship the most high God of the Bible. Because y'all don't keep no commandments. Y'all right. don't keep his word. Read. Which remain among the graves and lounge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh. They do what? Eat swine's flesh. Hey, Y'all eat the damn pig, man. Read. And forth the of abominations. In the what? The of abominations. In of abomination, man. Where y'all gonna get this, man? The giant's supposed to be eating that man. Throwing your auntie, your uncles, and your cousins. Eat that madness. Read Abominable things in abominable things is in their vessels. And abominable things are in their bodies, man. Right. Right? You getting all type of parasites. Right. All in your body, man. Abominable, man. Got worms all in your body. You're like a damn dog. You need to be dewormed. Right? Let me get Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6 again, man. Right? That's the verse I wanted to bring out. What was it? Uh, bring it out now. There's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7. In verse 6, for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So y'all are nations, man. The so-called uh, uh, black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all don't want to be holy, man. Y'all don't want to be separate. Y'all don't want to be uh, above these nations, man. Y'all want to be equal to. Right. But they ain't, ain't, ain't been told, uh, uh, taught and, 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 and shown that you're equal to. Right? Ain't been treated as such. Right? Y'all don't care. And I, I don't understand it. I do understand it. Read that. 
The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He did what? Has chosen thee. See, the Lord thy God chose the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. We God's chosen people. Right. Right? Greek. To be, to be a special people unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. Y'all other nations, y'all going into captivity, man. Right. Y'all got judgment. Greek. Above all people. We what? Above all people. Now we equal to them. Above all people. Now the Bible say we what? Above all people. And I believe it. We above all these people, man. We above these nations. These nations ain't did nothing but rape, rob, and murder all your people, man. Right. And y'all want to be equal to. Right? Y'all want to sit on side of them on the bus. Lolly guy, you mind if I give you a flyer, sir? You mind if I give you a flyer? At old school, you see a youngster talking to you? You ain't got no damn sense. Right. So you, you, you the problem was wrong with our communities. Right. No interaction. What's wrong with our people, man? Right. The elders can't even talk. He see a young man talking to him. He's like, nope. But if I was a damn white man, oh, yes, sir. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Right. Uh, yeah, man, what do you think? Yeah, man, let's talk about politics. Right. But you see a young black melanated brother trying to address you. I said, sir, <laughs> the hell with him. He's nothing but another gangbanger. Predator. He's worthless. Madness, man. Pure madness. Right? What you got, up? Above all people. A what? Above all people. Then we're above y'all, man. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. So we're above all y'all that are upon the face of the earth. There ain't no equality when it comes to the Most High God. All right? There ain't no equality. God right. got a chosen people, and you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are God's chosen people. That's right. No smiles. We don't care about smiles. In the right. last days, ain't none of y'all gonna be smiling when y'all right. hit with thermal and nuclear fire, thus said the Bible. Your damn Mercedes ain't gonna save you. Your money ain't gonna save you. Y'all some devils. Pure madness. Jesus Christ come back with fire? Because you break the Sabbath? You don't keep his commandments? Are you going to be smirking then? Right. Let me, let me get Ezekiel 35, verse 5. No, stay away from the niggers. Stay away from the niggers. Right? Oh, don't be surprised. No, right. please. Take it that way. Right. Take it that way. Why are they surprised like they don't call us niggers? Huh? You say what? Are you serious, man? Brother, are you are you serious? Wait, hold on, you, you mad because I speak the truth? What is ignorance? Brother, you know they call us that. The kids even call us that. Man, you don't care because you're ignorant. I'm Mexican, man. Well, why are you speaking out, brother? You don't. Do you care about your people on the border? Do you care about them building a wall and telling your people not to come into a land? No. I know. Brother, come here. Let me show you something. Come here. Okay. Well, close your mouth. Close your damn mouth. I'm a, da I'm a grown man. Watch your mouth. Okay. Because he said nigger? Because he said nigger? Because he said nigger? Brother, go ahead. Cause he said, Brother, you, do you get mad when do you get mad when they kill our people in the street? Do you get mad when they kill our people in the street? Nigger is in the Bible. All right, get your ass up the street. What a 
for the bat for the damn other nations. Talk about the atrocities against your people. Talk about that. You don't care about your Latinos. You're building a goddamn wall. You ain't no better. Because I'm going to stand up for righteousness. That's right. Stand up for what's right. Got a damn problem. When they've been calling us niggas for goddamn generations, they don't want to brought us to the damn country. Goddamn cargo slave ships. 400 years of slavery. Free labor. Right. Right. Let me get Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35, verse 5. Give a damn about you heathens. None of y'all. Right. Neither do the most high God. Y'all got a lot to say, but y'all ain't gonna move nothing. Right. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. They did what? Had a perpetual hatred. Oh, y'all got a perpetual hatred. Read. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And they shed the blood of the children of Israel. Read. By the force of the sword. Young brother, y'all mind if I give y'all a flyer? Give them young brothers a flyer, man. Read that again from the top. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. They got a perpetual hatred for your people, man. Right. They keep killing young brothers like y'all dead in the street. Right. Because they got a hoodie on. Right. Because they got a toy gun. They got a perpetual hatred for y'all young brothers. They think y'all a threat. Right. They want to murder y'all for y'all living y'all lives. They call y'all predators. Call y'all predators. And nobody want to stand up and teach these young men. Right. Where's the men at? Where's the men? Read that again, I. Huh? Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou have had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. They shed the blood of your so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. They shed your blood by colonialism, by slavery, by conquering the land. This ain't their land. They always want to tell y'all to go back to Africa. Tell them to go back to Europe. Go back to Poland. Go back to Rome. Right. This is the Native Americans land. Read. By the force of the sword. They they murdered some people by the force of the sword. Read. In the time of their calamity. In the time of our calamity, man. Read. In the time that they that their iniquities have had an end. In the time of our iniquity had an end. No more smiley faces. We don't, today is the Sabbath day, and we don't break the Sabbath. All right. When, when did they change the Sunday? Okay, so now you know. All right. You don't know. It's the Sabbath day. The seventh day. Come on in. Come on in. Leave the niggers alone. All right. Goddamn dummies. Talk about ignorant. Better you than damn ignorant. You, you don't know nothing. Talk about what the hell? What, man, let me get uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, verse 36, man. 37. Talking about these children. Let's see what the Most High God said about uh, what they call us niggers, man. Right. They call us savages, man. They call us fix, man. Let's see what the Most High God said. Right. Deuteronomy 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. And a what? Astonishment. Read on. A proverb. A what? A proverb. A wise saying. Read on. And a byword. And a saying like niggers, like specks, like savages. Read on. Among all the nations. Among who? All the nations. All these nations know as these proverbs and bywords, niggers, specks, right. savages. All these nations know what these, what these words mean. Right. That's what the Bible said. So don't call me ignorant. You don't know a damn thing. Read. Among all the nations, whether the Lord 
shall lead thee. Among all the nations where the Lord shall lead thee, man. Right. All these nations know us at this time. Oh, be careful for the kids. Don't say nigger. Right. Like, like I said, oh, some profane. Right. So you feminine ass, man. You about to listen to your purple head wife. Right. Damn barney head wife and get your ass up the street, boy. Right. Got me out here like you. <laughs> <laughs> Second Samuel, chapter three, and verse eighteen. Now then, do it, for the Lord has spoke of spoken of David, saying, "By the hand of my servant David, I will save my people Israel out of the land of the Philistines." Right by his people, right the Israelites. Are his people right? The Israelites are God's people, right? We can't stress it enough, right? Okay, all right, we are, and out of the hands of their enemies, and out of the hands of their enemies, just like he did in the time of Daniel, I mean, uh, uh King David, right? He's gonna do it again, right? Okay. Gonna do it again. Let me get um Luke chapter one. I bet you wanna do that for a sister though. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm on their ass today, man. Not to America. Not to America. Luke one and one. One is sixty-eight. Right. We'll this, a couple more verses. It's the book of Luke, chapter one. In verse 68, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. Of the white man. Of Israel. Of the Asians. Of Israel. Of the damn Ishmaelites. Of Israel. The Bible says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. That's right. Read on. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for uh, for the for in for us in the house of his servant David. So he has raised up a horn of salvation in the house of his servant David, just like we read in Second Psalms. I mean right. Second Samuel. Okay? The most high God is for the Israelites, not right. every nation, man. Right. Okay, read on. <laughs> As he spake. By the mouth of his holy prophet. By he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Free. Which have been since the world began. Which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies. Hey, we're going to be saved from our enemies, man. Right. The people that brought us on cargo slave ships, yes. we're going to be saved from them. Right. Wave at that. Right. We got we got an exile coming soon. Free. And from the hand of all of that and from the hand of all that hate us. Now we're gonna be saved from the hands that all that hate us, man. Right. We're gonna be saved soon. Why do y'all keep smiling at me? 
You can look at I'm the last guy you want to smile at. Right. Right. I don't like heathens. Right. At all. I don't like Gentiles. Right. At all. You guys are abomination to the Lord thy God. That's right. You're abomination. Right. You are abomination. Right. Today the seventh day. You are abomination. Right. Most high God don't deal with all nations. No, you're not. That's a lie. Right. Let me get Amos chapter 1, verse 2. The most high God says he's the God of Israel, not of their pale-skinned white woman. Right. They hate me. <laughs> Amos. They, 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 they smile at me. They make themselves a target. Right. Stop smiling at me. Book of Amos, chapter 1, verse 2. <clears throat> and he said, the Lord will roar, will roar from Zion. No, no, Amos 3. Oh. So again, Amos 3 and 1. Hey, you might want to give you a fly, young brother. Holler at your young brother. Come here, brother. Let hey, me holler at you, here. brother. Hey, holler at me. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, praise. Brother. oh, it's all good, bro. As long as you give me your time, man, that's respect, bro. Right. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. I got much time, brother. I, I gotta get my respect, you know? All right, all right. What's up, what you And I'm gonna get mine back. Y'all good, y'all good, brother. I'm good. Yeah, brother. Here's a kite, here's a kite. All right, you believe in the Bible, man? Of course. Okay, we come out the prophesy. Give my fight, brother. If you already know, it comes the prophesy down south of America, that's said the Bible. The raise of our people, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, to show them they are the people. Like the church of the Bible. Okay. They have lost their identity by these other nations, man. Alright? All right? Now I'm gonna show you something. Let me get um that same verse, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. The most I got about to deliver us, young brother. Alright. I'm calling you young out of respect. Okay. Luke 1, verse 68. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. See, the Bible says talking about the God of Israel. This is what the Christians is not teaching us. That this Bible is only for the God for the Israelites. Right. He's called the God of Israel. Right. Not the God of the Europeans, not the God of the Chinese, right. but the God of Israel. Right. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. So read again from the top. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So subject matter will be Israel, read. For he has revisited and redeemed his people. So the God of Israel has revisited and redeemed his people. Showing ownership, right? When I say that's his jacket, that's not everybody's jacket. It's showing owner, it's you. Okay. So he said, I visited and redeemed his people, which was the Lord God of Israel. Okay. Israel's his people, Greek. And have raised up a horn of salvation for, for us in the house of his servant David. So he raised up a horn of salvation in the house of his servant David. Right? And it, it, what, what happened is, let me show you. Let me get, um, hold that. Get Acts chapter 5, verse 30 real quick. I'm going to show you that he gave the um, horn of salvation when he called Jesus Christ uh, to us, okay. not to everybody. All right. Okay. So if Jesus Christ ain't his name, that's who they worship. That's Jesus Christ, that image in Caesar Borgir was, was the Pope Alexander VI's son. He was a homosexual. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So his, his homosexual lover was Michelangelo, and they painted him because that was the um, um, uh, Pope's son. You but see what I'm saying? Jesus is black. Jesus is a black man. That's the whole point. They gave us that white man to make us uh, put that supremacy on us. You see what I'm saying? But Jesus, Jesus was the so-called Jesus. So-called Jesus was a black man according to the Bible. Let me get Acts chapter five, verse thirty. Acts chapter five, verse thirty, and God. Of our fathers of our raised fathers. what do you do? Raised up. Hamashiach Yahweh Because that's his name. Hamashiach Yahweh The anointed savior. He had a Hebrew name. He was a Hebrew Israelite. So we're not gonna call him by a European name. Yeah, yeah. Uh this is the Acts chapter three. Uh so I can know where. We're gonna look. It's his name. Well it's not. Well, we, we, okay, okay. Look for that flyer and we'll we'll, we'll give you all that go into the Hebrew with you. You okay, see what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's why we get them fires out. Okay. If you go to that uh, YouTube right there, yeah, okay. we do lessons. Okay, okay. Okay, read that. Acts 5, verse 30. Uh, 
the God of our fathers. So the God of our fathers, our forefathers, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, read. Raised up the Mashiach Yahweh whom ye slew and hung on the tree. Who they slew and hung on a tree, read. Okay. He had him hath God exalted. So God hath exalted Jesus Christ, read. With his right hand. With his right hand. To be a prince. To be a prince. In a and a savior for to give repentance to to repentance to Israel. To give repentance. He raised up a horn of salvation with his right hand to give repentance unto Israel. Not the whole world. Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay, see repentance saying. is coming to us. Okay. Right. Why? Because we the ones that got the law. Right. We the ones that break the law. We're right. the chosen people. We're the chosen people of the Bible. Okay. This is why when we came over in a cargo slave ship, they took our, 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 our names. Right. Our culture. They gave us a different guy. They gave us a, gave us a different guy and gave you, what's your last name? Kathy. Kathy gave you a damn white man's last yeah, name. Yeah, that's true. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Gave you a goddamn white man's back. They yeah. took, they destroyed us, man. Yeah. Took us all the way yeah. away from our, um, yeah. our nationality. Yeah, that's, that's true. Watch that's this. Reason. Go back to Luke. Luke 1. Chapter 1. Nah. Luke 1 and... So he raised up a horn of salvation to give repentance unto Israel, right? Read on. Oh, he had raised up a horn of repentance for his house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. By his faith, by the mouth of his holy prophet, because uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Nehemiah, Jeremiah, they all knew that salvation was for the children of Israel. Right. Which have been since the world began. This have been since the world began, began, man. In the beginning. Right, in the beginning, okay. right? That we should be saved from our enemies. We shall be what? Saved from our enemies. We killing us dead in the street. Our enemies. They killing us dead in the street, man. Right? Right. They put us in captivity. Sister. Sister. Brother. Sister. I got to go, though, but I, th I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Keeping that word. Yes. All right, bro. Okay, I'm going to YouTube. Like you said, you know, take it from here, all right? All right, I'll pray. Okay, brother. I'll pray. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That we should be saved. From our enemies. We're going to be saved from our enemies. That's said the Bible. All right, read on. And from the hand of all that hate us. And we're going to be saved from the hand that all that hate us, man. You other nations that got a problem with us, the Most High God going to save us from y'all, man. Right. We ain't about to be around y'all too much longer. Right. Right? America's about to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. You ever heard of World War III? You ever heard of Judgment Day? What do you think it is? Right? It's the deliverance of the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans out of this land. Right. Which was stolen by slaughter, by murder, by rape, by pillage. Right? We about to leave because their ancestors were murderers, man. Right. That makes sense? Nope. Don't make sense to y'all. All right, read up. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Read on. And to remember the Holy Covenant. And to remember the Holy Covenant. I bet y'all don't even know what the covenant is, man. I see you over there looking, Esau. You know what the covenant is? No? Nope. You don't know what the covenant is. Anybody know what the covenant is in the Bible? No? Nope. What about you, brother? You know what the covenant is? What's the covenant? No, no, no. That's sad, man. You said you know already. The covenant is for the so-called nation of Israel. You don't, even, you don't even know what you're talking about, man. You don't even know. You get your facts right. You're walking off like a damn lady talk about get your facts right. I'm standing here bold as a lion. Right. Problem. Anybody walking off talking shit is like a female. Right. Female traits. You a man, I'm a damn man. Let's, let's fucking talk, man. Look at him. Look at him. If I ran over there right now and, and, and stomp my feet here, run like a little girl. Brothers, it's lucky, man, that I'm not in the old spirit, man. <laughs> they don't even know, bro. I'm telling you. Now with that, I want to say all praises to the Most High God, Jehovah, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Jehovah Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ in the Hebrew. And with that, 
I want to say death to America! Death, death to, to America. America! Death to America! Death, death to America! Look, y'all got a problem with that? Don't squint your eyes, man. Death to this country. That's right!